Hey guys, it's Daniel, and today I wanted to take a look at my least played class in the game of Team Fortress 2 and why that is. While I am getting close to almost 3,000 hours playing TF2, I know not, not much by some of your guys' standards, but there is one class in particular that I only have about 26 hours played as, and that's the Pyro. Now, let me start off by saying that this isn't going to be a negative video towards any class. Just because I don't play a lot of Pyro doesn't mean I think he is a bad class. And actually, a lot of what I have to say about him is positive and with any really criticism being more of a personal problem than really anything. So I just wanted to state that so there isn't a predictable flame war in the comments about how I'm bashing Pyro just because I play him the least. That's not the case. It's just to sum it up pretty simply, he's just not my cup of tea. Now, Pyro to me actually is one of the most interesting classes in the game in terms of his pretty wide range of combos. He has so many different choices for loadouts that you can equip between just a standard flamethrower with the flare gun, the decrease or panic attack combo that I know Lazy Purple has made very popular, the flog scorch shot combo, which is absolutely insane in pubs against uncoordinated teams. With Pyro, there is just a lot of choices you can make with pretty much how you want to play as a Pyro, whether if you want to be more of a bodyguard and kind of always be covering or supporting your team, an aggressive crit magnet with the flog if you just want to murder everybody, or if you want to be that stylish detonator, the Healy's to Axtinguisher 360 combo breaker that you see in all those fancy frag movies from the plenty amount of Pyro mains out there who are just insanely good at the class. I think he allows the player to really get creative with what he has at his disposal. Now look, I, I can already see some of the comments from mile away talking about how it's primarily WM1 or WM2, and you're absolutely right but still shut up. No, but in all seriousness, isn't that kind of the incentivized playstyle for Pyro to create short range area denial if he chooses to do so? I understand that Pyro is a commonly picked class for beginners, but that really shouldn't be seen as a bad thing. Getting kills by WM1 takes a while as the Pyro has to first off close the distance on you. And even if he's already done that, he still has to roast you for quite some time. So I don't know. To me, dying to that style of play is more at the fault of me rather than the pyro. To me, it's pretty bothering. Sometimes it can be a little annoying, but honestly, I've never really encountered it to a point where I need to make a Reddit forum talking about how overpowered it is. So I don't know, whatever. People cry about it, it's cool. And especially with things like the flog, like, I mean, he has no air blast, so pretty much every class in the game has pretty easy openings on him. Granted, they literally only have to keep their distance from the flames, which on most maps is pretty manageable. Anyhow, I still think the main point I'm trying to make here is that Pyro is definitely overgeneralized in terms of having a low skill ceiling, and I believe that yes, Pyro is extremely easy to pick up and play, but to get deep into a lot of his arsenal and his combos and more unique play styles, it really opens up the class to a lot more than what most people categorize him as. Now with all that being said, I guess the big question is why is he my least played class? Pretty much he's just not my preferred play style. Now, I can easily say that just by looking at the difference in between my most played class, which is Scout, and I'm not even gonna get too deep because if I start talking about Scout, we're never, this video is never gonna end, like, because I just love this class so much, but I currently have close to 800 hours on him, and to be honest, to keep it brief, I enjoyed the abilities and just freedom to pick fights that Scout offers. Pyro, to me, never really hit the right notes simply because I was just not interested in learning the different playstyles he offered. When it came to more close range engagements that the Pyro is often found in, I always much prefer to either just be playing Scout or Heavy, just because I trust my ability with those two classes more, I guess, than, say, with the Pyro. Ultimately, I guess I lean more towards Generalist classes such as Scout, Demo, Soldier, simply for the fact that they're just reliable and they have more movement that allows me to play a little bit more flexibly, but once again, that's not to say that the Pyro isn't a flexible class, but I think he's just shy of those classes in terms of movement and overall reliability, at least from the way I play the game, not in a general sense. Now, one of my personal favorite weapons of the Pyro is the Dragon's Fury, which is kind of a clunky weapon in its own regard, but in all honesty, it's one of the most interesting flamethrowers that the Pyro has in his arsenal. Released in the Jungle Inferno update and adopting the similar single fire high damage nature that a lot of the weapons in this game have, the Dragon's Fury really requires you to aim and track opponents so that you can engulf them in flames. Now, this thing does have a ramp up damage mechanic, meaning with each successive shot, the next one can do a bit more damage to really kill enemies quickly, granted you can aim your little flame projectile pretty much. Obviously, while it's not the best weapon the Pyro has, and what flamethrower is the best I guess would be up for debate, I personally found it to be a weapon that suits the style of play I enjoy in TF2, which is quick fights that are reliant on my ability to pretty much aim and track. 
Usually I like to combo it with the shotgun, usually either the stock or panic attack. And then I always run the power jack as my melee because the extra mobility for Pyro is so useful for him and can really allow him to keep up with the fight. I'm also a huge fan of the degreaser though, due to its speed and faster weapon switching that allows you to switch to whatever tool you need quickly, which in close quarters fights, especially against those with soldiers or scouts, can be a real lifesaver so you're not trying to flamethrower them down from max health. I mean, overall, I think the Pyro is an interesting class in terms of his ability to combo and his play styles. I don't know, I feel like he's definitely kind of the outcast. Uh, I feel like a lot of the community really shuns him. I'll actually run into a good pyro and, and, and it's frustrating, but honestly, I think it's a very diverse class. So there's a, there's a lot of open space for people to really test out and play in a lot of different ways with him. And I think that's what makes him mainly appealing. I guess to me, I just sort of like playing mainly hit scan classes, but I also like classes that are more fast paced. I've always have. So hence my, my lenience towards, you know, scout and such, but I definitely think Pyro is just, he's pretty cool. I like him. He's my, I, I don't play him a lot, but I do, I, I respect him. And overall, he's not my cup of tea, but that doesn't certainly mean he isn't a tasty one. I can't believe I wrote that in a script. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that about does it for this video. Of course, I'd be interested to hear what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below. What is your least played class and why? I'm always interested to hear what people, you know, people have other perspectives. Some people, I, I there's some surprising things uh, with in terms of people's least played class least played classes because everyone plays this game pretty differently so i'm always interested so let me get let me know guys I'm, I'm curious but of course please consider leaving a like on the video if you enjoyed this um also consider subscribing to the channel uh i've been getting a ton of support lately um the last video i made did really good if you haven't checked that out make sure you do about the abandoned training mode um but yeah guys we're closing in really quickly on 7,000 subscribers which i the fact that i'm sitting you know behind this mic saying that is really really humbling um but yeah guys uh maybe consider it if not it's all good i understand but with that in mind guys i'd like to thank you all for the support and as always thank you and have a good day